swag we're talking about. He is fired up and ready to roll here this afternoon. That got the crowd excited as well. And he's going to throw it here in first down and a great play in the backfield on Jatavion Sanders. Um, talked about overcoming the adversity that he's faced in his career after that hot start. Going to dump it off to the fullback. Paulo, and he's knocked down in the backfield for a loss by Jade Barron, who is one of their best defensive players. Ryan Rico is one of the best punters in the country. He's third in punting average at about 49 per game. And this one uh, hung up in the wind a little bit. Here's Worthy, makes the first man miss. Straight ahead past the 40. Kicker to beat, there he goes. Worthy making a house call and a punt return. Xavier Worthy with a 75-yard return for a touchdown. As explosive as Xavier Worthy. He gets the speed burst and it's heels to the field. Not a chance for this place will erupt when they do. BYU gonna try to run it here, and Robbins is tackled for a loss on the play. Jalen Ford, but they're very close. As uh, Murphy's in trouble here, gets rid of it. His arm is heavy, floats that one, and it's still caught by Jatavia. Sanders despite getting belted at the 40-yard line. Well, how about the concentration here by Jatavion Sanders? Lynn Murphy under pressure. He gets in as he throws his football that Steve Sarkeesian loves to utilize in this offense. On second down and 10, Murphy to throw again. In trouble. And just throws it right to a BYU defender. Picked off at the 40-yard line by Wakely. Inside the 30, Wakely chased down by Brooks to the 10-yard line. I don't know if Murphy ever saw Crew Wakely because he tossed it right to him. First down, BYU. When Jay Hill told us he's going to dial up some pressures, and he brings A.J. Vongpachan off the edge, and 38's going to bail out. As you're going to see, Wakely bails out into coverage, and that's a big mistake by Malik Murphy. He gets pressured. He just throws the football carelessly. Wakely right there with a gift in his hands. And we talk with the defensive coordinator, Jay Hill. You're going to see a lot of different pressures throughout the course of the day trying to do exactly that. Get Malik Murphy uncomfortable. Get him. Winning the turnover battle. But because of the block in the back, at the gates, a long return. And now they run the ball with Aiden Robbins. And until last week, as Robbins gets about six, BYU really has struggled running the football. From this big running back. Texas stacking the box. Sloan is going to throw. And that's picked. Intercepted by Gavin Holmes, bringing it back inside the 30. Terrence Brooks checked that with the interception and the long run back for Texas. And get his hand on this football that creates the interception from Brooks right around the edge. He's going to come in, he's going to get his hands up, jump up, and just get one hand on the football and deflects it just enough right into the hands of Ter Bro Terrence Brooks. And what more can you ask for from this Texas defense after Malik Murphy makes an early mistake? A big play by John A. Barron and Terrence Brooks to get the football back. And Got Gunnar Helm lined up in the backfield. You see him now motioning. Tight end. And it's Brooks inside the 20. And inside the 15. Malik Murphy as Murphy makes his first career start. And a third down. Got a throw underneath. And it's caught for a first down. He trusts this guy a lot, Tom. There's no doubt about that. See what they do here on first and goal for the four. And a run. Brooks. And Brooks lunges and is in for the touchdown. Jonathan Brooks, his seventh rushing touchdown of the season. His arm to honor his late father passed away March of last year. But oh boy, it's excellent, excellent movement off the right side. Christian Jones. They got Malik Agbo in as well, and DJ Campbell. Second down and eight. Keep it on the ground here with Brooks. Find some running room inside the 20. And down near the 10 before the tackle is made by Robinson. He first and 10 on the 11. Hoping his defense can come up with a stop. Texas up 14 0. And a first down and goal from the 10. As Murphy's hit, the ball is on the ground, and it's recovered by BYU. Isaiah Banya hacked it out and recovered it as well. And a second takeaway already. Just working off the edge here on Christian Jones. 
He's going to get the pressure, and he's going to get the ball loose. Actually, wasn't working on Christian Jones. Jonathan Brooks doesn't get over, doesn't get the help that he needs. That ball's loose. And how about while Banya's on the ground? Uh, Slovis, one-time USC Trojan, one-time Pitt Panther. Hands it off, and another negative play, and it's Sweat again. Wrapping up the running back, Robbins, for a loss of two. Fourth down and two. And Slovis will throw, and it's pulled in for a first down inside the 30. Chase Roberts, who's been the go-to target here in the second quarter, picks up 12. Really churn out some clock here, Mr. Ott. Six for his last seven, and a little option. The pitch to Deion Smith inside the 20, and inside the 10, 19 yards. Boy, Kingsley Suamatia, he's going to have an excellent block out there on the perimeter. He hits Taft. BYU forces a turnover, two fourth down conversions on this drive, and now first and goal from the 10. Can they punch it in? Slovis to the air. Everybody covered. Slovis in. And Slovis sat back at the 15-yard line. Let's see what they draw up here on third down and goal. Slovis going to throw again. Moving out of the pocket. And Slovis going to run inside the five. It's upended. Somersaults down to the two. That's good. And BYU is on the board. Brooks again, waits, darts forward, and gets a first down. You wonder, too, after the turnovers by Malik Murphy, if Sark playing all on to feed Jonathan Brooks, but you wonder if that had something to do with this as well. I, I think without question, I love the patience. How about him just wait, stop, allow those. Replacing the injured Quinn Ewers, who's week to week. Going to throw it here to Worthy out of space. And Worthy breaks free. And then finally, ankle tackle at the 46. With the football in his hands. Murphy, long throw to Worthy again. And trying to go upstairs and got grabbed by Robinson and thrown out of bounds at the 39. Murphy throws a deep ball into the end zone. He's got Mitchell, and it's caught. Adonai Mitchell with the Texas touchdown. What a confidence builder for Malik Murphy after the turnovers making a big play. With a route here by Adonai Mitchell. Outstanding. A lot of air underneath that football. With Oklahoma losing, a win for Texas would tie the Longhorns with Texas and Kansas State atop the Big 12 standings. Slovis back to throw. Fires complete. Out past the 30-yard line to Marion. First down for the Cougars. Gain of 18. It's a good throw here by Keaton Slovis. Stand strong in the pocket. I like the extension by Marion. On third down conversion on offense. He struggled, Tom. Struggled mightily. But as you said, good gain on first down, five yards. Play action pass. Slova setting up, looking deep, airing it out. Single coverage. And what a catch as Darius Lassiter pulls it in. The result of the play is a first down. It's on the freshman to Derek Williamson. Deep pose, play action, good protection. Put the ball up there and let the six foot three transfer from me. So third down and 11. Slovis on the shovel pass, got it to Rex, but that was ugly. Another loss on the play, so another field goal try. One big play away from being down just one score. They're not out of it yet, midway through the third. As Farron drills this one, he's two for two, but you just don't get the sense that a BYU's offense can finish a drive at this point. Brooks again, finds a crease across the 30. Brooks past the 40. Brooks into BYU territory, all the way to the 40-yard line. How about the vision and burst by Brooks? Good blocking, working everything left. He sees that cutback lane, and then the acceleration through the... Brooks had four consecutive 100-yard games in the last week. He finished with 99 in that one. He's open here, makes the catch out in space. Down to the 20. Well, that was a great play by Malik Murphy to get rid of that. Gain of 17. Murphy is a little banged up, though, after the play. Murphy dumps it off. Sanders down at the one. What a great play out in space by Jacob Robinson. BYU with a goal line stand. And he's going to make this play. You guys, you can go ahead and roll that. 
We're not going to be able to chance to see him. He's going to come from out of your screen all the way on the outside. He's going to fight through that block and just get enough of the shoestrings of Jatavion Sanders and get him to the ground. It's going to be Brooks. And oh, I don't think he got it. Did he fumble the ball as well? Wow. Downs again. What a stop once again by BYU. Get good penetration in the backfield. Nowhere for Jonathan Brooks to go with the ball. It's just an outstanding effort. They changed the line of scrimmage all the way across the front. BYU team not going to give up second time. Right around the goal line, they've come up with a... Slovis dropping back, looking, firing, through the hands of the receiver and picked off. Taff with the interception. Running it back inside the 35. Taff inside the 20, inside the 10, and gets leveled out of bounds. Off the hands of Lassiter and picked by Michael Taff. Another big interception here on third down. This ball just too far out in front for Lassiter to be able to bring in. It's the old tip drill. Ball's in the air. Taft Rolling comes down with an it. An outstanding job with the ball in his hands. After the interception, Michael Taft, former walk-on from right here in Austin. Offensive play caller, Steve Sarkeesian, happy. Murphy's pass pulled in. Mitchell bouncing off the fenders and into the end zone for his second touchdown. Texas may have just put BYU away. Well, just a simple slant from Malik Murphy. And good strong hands here by Adonai Mitchell. Reaches up, snatches that ball out of the air. Powers his way to the end zone for a second touchdown of the afternoon. No one feels comfortable right now. If you're a league commissioner about, unless you're Tony Petiti and Greg Sankey. The ball is out of Slovis was hit back side by Finkley, and it's recovered by the Longhorns. Now the first step, arm over, gets, chops the hand. Doesn't just get to the quarterback, but getting the ball out. It's a really good pass rush. Getting that football out, and then the scurry of the ball, jumping on top by Bledsoe. Really nice job there by Finkley, getting to that arm of Slovis. Totally different brand of football and offense. I mean, it's going to be a fun month of November inside the Big 12, man. Blue gets to the outside, has a first down, turns on the Jets inside the 10, and into the end zone for another Texas touchdown. 34 yard run for Jaden Blue, his first touchdown this season. Hayden Connor, left tackle, left guard, going to really do a nice job getting some blocks here. Tight end as well. Just seal this side and take it to the house. Zone all the way to the side. Jake Majors with also a block and the burst in the open field as Jaden Blue finds the end zone for another Texas touchdown. This Texas group's a resilient bunch, aren't they? They just find a way. Yeah. Give something. Give something.